Hey folks, your OS Reviews. You're watching our video first look and a quick review of the Spacegate Thunderbolt. This is a RC drone, which you can find through Amazon for about 50 bucks and under. It's not too expensive, although this model does emit a Wi-Fi camera, so you can't use it to kind of navigate and see what's going on around you. Uh, so very typical as far as the drone designs are concerned, except it has these two interesting looking wheels attached to the left and to the right, which allows it to tumble a little bit more easily. And in the case that, you know, if you're just beginning and you're not an, an expert flyer yet, maybe if you hit the ceiling, it adds a bit more of protection, allows it to roll around on the ground as well. So uh, something interesting you don't see on every single drone's design. Otherwise, it uses four AA batteries and you can then charge it, uh, charge a drone itself which uses a rechargeable battery uh, via USB but the controller itself uses again traditional AA batteries which are not included. There are LED lights which will illuminate under darker environments so that uh, you can still see the drone when you're flying in the dark and know where it is. It does have a 360 degree gyroscope uh, which acts and allows you to fly it a bit more easily since it's a bit more stable um, and also has the ability to perform different tricks and flips for a more advanced uh, users out there. Um, so should be something less expensive uh, to maybe start out if you haven't flown a drone before and you don't want to break a more expensive model, this could be something to pick up. It doesn't have as many features in terms of the add-ons, but uh, fairly stable and a cool design nonetheless. So this is what the box looks like. We've already checked out a few drones and other RC toys from Spacegate before, such as the micro drone and that has worked fairly well in the past, so uh, we are excited to see whether or not this one performs equally as well. This is uh, specifically the SGF46 model. So on the very top, you can see this is also what it looks like without the two wheels, the tumbler wheels on the sides, so you can remove that component if you don't like it. And there's just uh, a safety seal on the very top, which we're going to slice open. There we go. And pop this open to see what other contents are in here. So we do have access to a quick start guide, a user manual, in addition to the remote. And you can't use this, you know, use it through the, the smartphone to program it. It doesn't come with any app, so it's not a smartphone or anything like that. So it's really just meant for practicing and honing your skills, uh, both indoors as well as outdoors. So here we have the kit. Uh, there is a quick start guide that documents the various features, how to set things up for the first time, how to control it, perform tricks, so on and so forth. Comes with a few extra propellers and parts, so in the case that you do damage it, you can kind of replace it more easily. This is the size of the drone. This is a pretty small drone, not as small as, you know, of course, those micro drones that can fit in the palm of your hand, but a lot smaller even than other generic drones I've seen floating around on Amazon and on eBay. So this is the controller, kind of an interesting look going on. A few other attachments which uh, should be installed by the user, and also parts to replace it in the case of it's damaged. The remote control is made of a soft touch rubber, so it does feel pretty good in terms of the quality, a lot better than some of the other uh, remotes from this company I've seen before. So we'll take a closer look at this in a moment. So this is really an interesting fusion. The wheels are fully functional. They're not just for decorative purposes. They actually rotate. So technically, I guess, if you just press on the uh, on, on the keys of the controller to make it move forward. Perhaps you can just use this as a typical car without even flying. Not really sure, we're gonna find out later on. Uh, these two components, again, snap onto the sides. So you, can, you can swap these out, uh, I believe, or attach these onto the sides uh, to give you that larger overall look. Uh, but again, the overall build here is made out of plastic. Again, we have a few accents going on here and there. This is the battery that you can see kind of coming out. Uh, it is a fairly standard battery pack, which can be replaced if you want to bring several with you when you're flying to extend the, the time of the, of the flight. It takes about 30 minutes to completely charge this battery pack. Afterwards, it's going to work for about uh, six minutes of continuous flight before you need to recharge it again. So average battery life, as far as drones are concerned, it uses the standard uh, port for charging. So this is what it looks like all in all. You can see the 2.4G for the wireless controller signal, and that's basically it. Uh, so taking a closer look at the controller, again, it's a soft touch rubber material, which makes it grippy as well as resistant to more fingerprints. You have controls for navigating the direction as well as the throttle speed and acceleration, forwards, backwards, uh, also for setting things up in terms of calibration, if it's slightly off center towards the left or towards the right. There's a small panel on the front, uh, an LED panel that tells you the channel as well as the power status. Dedicated power key on the front, which is pretty tactile and responsive. Uh, and the back features access to the battery compartment, which you can remove to insert those batteries. And I believe you can also uh, kind of attach, pull onto the, let's see what this part is. 
So there are two other, uh, looks like a charging port is there. So you would plug the drone into this dedicated port to begin that charging process for the built-in battery pack on the drone. Uh, but these two, it says photo and video because this one doesn't have a camera on board. These are fake buttons and you actually can't press these, which is a little bit strange. But. So we're gonna start with the drone in this uh, current setup mode, which it came out of the box and it actually charges using USB. So you plug the side into the computer or onto a USB charger to fully charge it up. The process takes about 45 minutes. The remote control itself is pretty comfortable to use, although this actually isn't a screen. It's just an LED light that shows you the pairing status. And there's a speaker on here that'll beep when the pairing is successful. So that's something to point out. Again, it takes four batteries in the back and there's also ability for you to charge uh, the remote itself to provide power. So that's the alternate uh, usage if you don't want to use double A batteries. We'll see the lights start to flash, so then we'll turn this up. And now the second mode, which looks like this, but again, basically all three of the modes, uh, the third being the traditional drone with the guards and protectors on the sides, is essentially just meant for flying, so there's not too much you can do in terms of vertically driving it uh, in, in just a line or straight back and forth. You can just have to fly it up and down, so this just protects another uh, creates another layer of protection in case it hits something and uh, it also will you know maybe ro actually go a little bit if it uh, drops from a height onto the floor and it's going to crawl a little bit again if it has a flat surface. Um, so taking a quick look uh, when we have to remove the sides from the original look with the wheels the four wheels it actually takes a little bit of force so it's not too easy to do so that's something to quickly keep in mind. All right so next let's do a quick demo of how this uh, drone works once we're in this particular mode. Alright guys, so that's been a quick video first look and uh, first impressions review of the Spacegate Thunderbolt. This is an interesting 3-in-1 drone which has these two interesting wheels on the sides uh, for the first mode and there's another one with uh, four wheels and of course one just acts as the traditional drone with guards on for f each of the four propellers. Uh, it works well enough, the battery here actually lasts for quite a long time and the remote control is quite sensitive and easy to get used to. It's not the perfect drone, also lacks a few more advanced features, but all in all it's a great one to start with and to hone your skills before you move into bigger and more expensive options on the market. Thanks for watching this video first look here at OS Reviews, and you can check out more details in our upcoming official written review.